Hello everyone and welcome to the very latest cash reviews. Today, a very special video for the channel. We're going to be interviewing Maple's own Relic Sons. So, who we got here? We got Mr. Adrian, Adrian Irulo. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning from wherever you people are. Mr. How's it going? Mr. Kyle Davis. Hi. <laughs> Justin, That's my name. Justin Piscucci on the drums, of course. Hello, hello. And uh, Brandon Bailey. What's up? All right, let's uh, let's get right into it. So you guys, you guys just came out with your second studio album, uh, Broken Reflections. Is that right? Yes, sir. That yep. is wrong. That is that right. Is wrong? Oh, I've already gotten one wrong. Oh, that's right. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> right. <no. laughs> that's right. So, uh, what, uh, what did you find was different in the making of this album compared to your first one, Simple Illusion? Anyone can chime in on this. Mm. This one's got a lot more layering, for sure. Yeah. All, on, all, all a lot of that, for sure. Yeah, a lot more layering, a lot more new instruments How was mm -hmm. the uh, compared to the last album. Was there a lot more studio, like more recording time, or was it like the same? Oh, oh yeah. There was yeah. more recording. Yeah. There was more recording. You were recording. A lot more money. Yes. A lot more money put into it. Sorry, what was uh, that, there was also better equipment to record with. Yeah. What was yeah. that, Justin? I said a lot more clarity. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely like. You mean like in the recording, like how it sounded on the? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely noticed that. I, de I, I definitely thought you guys brought a clearer sound on this one. I thought that for sure. What mm. were, uh, a clearer sound? How about a better sound? That one's more debatable. Let's just <laughs> joking, go on to the joking, next question. Joking. I'm joking. We're not just <laughs> playing it. What, was the, uh, <laughs> what are some of your guys' biggest influences? I'll just go down the line here with Adrian. Me? Biggest influence? Yeah, biggest influences. I'm more of a blues guy. Give, but me, like, give me some names. Give me if some you're talking names. about more like singer or songwriter... It starts like with Paul McCartney, and then it goes to like like I don't know if you know Ooh. Buddy Guy, but he's like yeah yeah my one of my biggest influences ever since I saw him live. Mhm. Mm that's where I learned. What about you, Kyle? Uh, on this one, definitely Paul McCartney, definitely the Beatles. I think you mentioned Wearing that. The Beatles shirt. Yeah. Sun, yeah. Sun on a cloudy Classic. day. Very, very. Here comes the sun and Hey Jude put together. Yeah, I definitely noticed that. Yeah, and. And um, for nostalgia, there's different like funk elements, kind of taken from Random Access Memories, Daft Punk, as you, you probably you noticed. It. There's a you line in the you, song yeah, about that. Yeah, I was that. gonna say. Yeah, you mentioned it in the song, right? Listening to Random Access. That's Memories. right. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Justin? So yeah. Um, like you're saying in general, just in my music and stuff. Yeah, just playing? yeah, <clears throat> just in general. I'm a big jazz fusion guy. Um. I don't know if it shows too much in our music. We're not really jazz fusion, but uh, I don't know. I, I find that I adapt to music pretty well, so I'll, I'll play rock are fine. There, and fine, Are there like but... specific drummers you'd point out as like? Yeah, I mean, no, no one's gonna know them, but there's certain <laughs> jazz drummers, fusion <laughs> drummers that I like. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that that's respectable. What about you, Brandon? Sixties jazz, oh, you know, whatever, yeah. modern fusion. Yeah. Brandon? Yeah. Uh, my influences are uh, Angus Young from ACDC for Ooh. sure. That's definitely my big my big one. Ooh, yeah. um, another one was Jimi Hendrix and uh, Slash. Those are probably my top three influences. Yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's, pretty, that's, I mean, a, that's a pretty good list. I love Hendrix. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, ACDC and Guns N' Roses are what really got me into music in the first place. Yes, yeah. Um, and then I just found Hendrix, obviously. Once you play guitar, you gotta know who Hendrix is. So, so. Um, how'd you guys meet? Like, wh when when did this start? You know, this started when. Go, uh, I Davis. guess if, if you're going way back, it started when I met Adrian three yeah. years ago. We had a friend in common. I won't say her <laughs> name, but, <laughs> but I showed up. To, yes, okay. so I showed up to his house. <laughs> No. I showed up yeah, to his house ha having never met him before, <laughs> and I walked up to the door, and he has blinds on his door, 
And I knock on the door, and I just see the blinds open, and like a foot below me, these two eyes just staring <laughs> wow. at me. I was scared to death. <laughs> and that was my first interaction with Adrian Arulo. <laughs> wow. And <laughs> so, obviously, we parted with uh, our drummer friend. Oh, and yeah. And so he, t- he told me, yeah, he told me, wait until you get into school. We'll find a guitarist. So then, obviously, we... I showed up to Jazz Band with Adrian, and Brandon walked in with his guitar case. And the first thing Adrian says to him, not hi, hello, he says, do you know Buddy Guy? <laughs> yeah. The first I thing said, he wait, says wait, to him, wait, not hi, hello, wait, what? No, you uh, didn't? Yeah. The first thing you said to him was, do you know Buddy Guy? Oh. And Brandon was like, yes. And then Adrian looked over at me like, hmm, okay, this guy knows his stuff. <laughs> So then <laughs> we we had the jam after jazz band that lasted a really long time. And yeah. we thought that was really good. So we started a group chat with Brandon. And then Kalari Music School, they asked us to do the Christmas parade. But we don't have a drummer. It was just the three of us. So Moses mm-hmm. said, That's the runner of the school, she said, <laughs> she said, we will supply you guys a drummer. And we were like, okay, that's kind of intimidating because we have no idea who it's going to be. So we were setting up. The the doors are made of glass in the school. So I saw this kid walking down the halls. He looked lost. (laughs) And he (laughs) opens the door. And I said, oh, are you here for drumming? And he's like, yeah. And then I kind of looked over at these other two like, this guy's 12. (laughs) (laughs) I know. So young. He's 12 years old and almost... As tall as me, or taller than me. I was t- I was taller than you. I know. I was five. And that came to be our first show, the Christmas parade, and we decided to stick yeah. together since then. And we went uh, through a couple name changes. Yeah. Blue Maple first. Blue Maple. Tetra, Tetra second. Oh God, what the frick's Tetra <laughs> and now, fish? Actually, there's such things. We've been the Relic Tetra. Suns ever since. Wow. That so was, that's the story of the Relic Suns. That's a, that's a pretty good story. Uh, I mean, Listen, uh, I'm gonna tell you, this all happened in like two years. This was not one year. When, I, when, like, I, when, I, walked in, when I walked in, I thought like Adrian was like the teacher at the school. Like, I thought he was like 30. <laughs> Little girl <laughs> me walks into these bearded guys. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> What's oh, up? Who's a short guy in brown shoes? <laughs> yeah, I saw his. I saw his leather boots and like the first the first time you see him, you think he's a little odd looking. That's the, that's the future, yeah, that's the <laughs> What's the, um, what's the writing and oh, recording yeah. process look like? like? I didn't, I didn't know if it was, <laughs> I didn't know if it was 16 or 60, like, I was the, confused. The, <laughs> the process of writing and recording? Yeah, writing, writing and recording. So um, like, well, like, how does a song, like, how does a song that ends up on an album, like, how, how does, where does that start? It comes from everyone's own ideas, and then everyone, then you just bring it together, and that's it. Like where? Well, like, it yeah. doesn't really happen at the same time. <laughs> like what happens? Like Adrian says, "Oh guys, oh, guys, I got a great idea for a song," and then what? Like, or do, or do you all just go in the studio yeah. and say, "We're okay, we gotta, we gotta make what? up some songs here." No, oh, no, no, that never, never works. Been we are now. never together when we come up with our songs. Okay, so it's a it's never a separate thing. What happens sometimes though? It does. What happens sometimes though is like, don't don't bring a song to the studio. And like we'll be recording it, and then sometimes ideas will just pop up for the song from yeah. like any one of us, and then we'll yeah. just oh, layer yeah. it on or throw it in or whatever. Right, like calling back to Lonely Hearted Man on last album. Yeah, the entire middle section was done on the spot. That, yeah, that like, happens a lot. That like reggae. Actually, a lot of our stuff was done yes. on the spot. A lot of it yeah. is done on the spot. It's ideas that come from a song that already exists. So usually that's, it'll start that's off. Pretty cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it'll start off with Adrian sending us a demo on email of something that he came up with. And then I'll tweak it up for him. (laughs) And then if I have an idea, I'll go over to his studio and we'll record a demo together. See Mm -hmm. if these two like it. Yeah. And we do that a couple times and see which ones stand out. And then we, we choose which ones are the best from there. Was there anything that you guys tried to do specifically differently on this album because I felt with those 
first few tracks, especially, you guys were going for a little bit more of an ex- like experimental, especially, and that last track as well, yes. the bonus track. So I was just wondering if you thought like mm-hmm. going into this, you know, maybe we got to try something new, something different. I think for this one, we definitely, uh, we would definitely want to be more experimental and widen our um, our styles. And we, like, as there's some songs on the album that are, have more funk feel. Some are more like heavy, yeah. uh, hard rock driven, like the first song on the album there. Yeah. Um, and we also have some slower stuff, so some nice piano stuff going on. Yeah, which was uh, def- think, definitely different. I think we were we were uh, definitely more open minded with this one. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I like the yeah. more experimental mm-hmm. stuff for sure. I thought that was great. Yeah, uh, it's because you know, yeah. on the first album. On the first album, we kind of had to build our reputation of being very, um, you know. On that first album, we just strict, wanted to get something strictly out. Strictly rules. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Wanted to get something out. That album was very much. And, that's, that know, was, that's what it was. We just sound. wanted to get something out. Yeah. But and so the second album, we, we were really artistic with it. Yeah. What do you think? Cause, uh, okay, yeah, go ahead, Kyle. Yeah, when the first album came out, we had to follow, you know, some sort of rules to build a reputation, right? Yeah. But now that this one's out, people already know the Relic Suns, yeah. right? We can we can play around a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think the next one's gonna sound like? The next one. Are you already you. working on the next one? Is what, is what I'm leading up. To. Uh. Not, it, not yet. It's not. Not yet. It's not something that happens. You know. Um immediately after yeah 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 we're still trying to get over get o- this yeah. one <laughs> yeah yeah but you know it, when the songs come to you we start there's um, always ideas when they come running to you. in everyone's mind yeah know? there's always yeah. ideas everyone has ideas right sense. and eventually they bring them to the table and that's it Are, do you ever want to do a i want to take into consideration though about what justin said you know more fusion more you know, experimental things that's, like that. That's or actually progressive rock. That's actually something yeah, I, I was. I think we should we should get into kind of some prog rock or. Yeah. You know, nothing crazy, but maybe add some some odd time signatures. Dude, if you guys did like, like right. Boston, you know, if yeah. If you guys yeah. did some like Court of the Crimson King shit, dude, I would I would be all for that. Okay. Oh yeah, so, I'm hoping a little. You know, I do think the instrumentation's better on this album, but every time it's going to get better, right? So hopefully yeah. we can do some cool progressive things. Something I was like that. Uh, thinking about, wondering about, and I don't mean, I don't mean to like get in your guys' business here, but I know that uh, Kyle and Adrian are doing most of the writing if I'm, if I'm not wrong. Right. Mm. So I don't know. Yeah. 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 I would say so. Yeah. That's fair to say, right? Oh yeah, for like sure. Our, yeah. Our own, okay. Our own instruments. So kinda, this question sort of, for for Brandon and Justin. It's not like I go in and write Justin's I know. part. That's not how it yeah, works. Yeah. So, yeah, this is for like... <laughs> okay, go. Continue. This question sort of for like Brandon and Justin. Like, would you guys ever want to be a bigger part of it, you know? Like, or have you, more of your own uh, compositions in there? Uh, I think so. I'm, yeah. Or are yeah. you... I feel, I feel like, like I'm I, like causing tension here. Or am I... Or are yeah. you like, you know, still uh, okay I with I love tension. Have? I, um... I'm I'm no lyricist, but I definitely like some more. Uh, oh, have you ever more, you, have you ever with, with, sang on any of the? You haven't, right? I have. have. Actually, he has. He has. He has. I have. <laughs> I had like one word before. <laughs> and obviously, they guys. on on the bonus track, guys. We're all singing at the beginning. Actually, all four of us. Oh, you're all singing. Actually, yeah. wait a second. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Justin sings in actually the first song yeah. on the new album. Oh, yeah? Did you know yeah. that? And, and the last one. Oh, you, Just, oh, he didn't know that. Let me show you. No, Let me I give you a I demonstration. I generally did not know that. Right here. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I did know this was Justin. I just... I That's just, Justin, yeah. Okay, I forgot about that. <laughs> With the... But the nice pitch shift really low to make his voice Justin, lower than it is already. Yeah. <laughs> he also gets the last word on the entire album at the very end. Oh, yeah? What did I say? Oh, it's yeah. True. By the way, I forgot to ask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Where did guys... No, no, I think I said that's right. 
I don't know. Oh, I maybe you're right. Where did guys come from? How did that come about? And what was the recording like that for that? I think it was, oh, a, that really was a day. Was that. That was a day. It was very oh, funny. We yeah, was were sitting around in a circle in four chairs around a, a microphone <laughs> in the dark. Right over here. <laughs> yes, in Adrian's basement. Eating sky and flakes. I was reviewing sky was... flakes and iced tea. And I cracked open the iced tea yeah. and started drinking from cracked it. Cracked it at the mic. That's beautiful. I love yeah. it. A, a bit yeah. of ASMR in the album. You know, we had to add a bit. It, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't scripted at all either. So, like... Uh, if anyone started laughing, we had to stop. It was like encrypted. Yeah. How much? Uh, yeah, we would. Because a lot of these songs, <laughs> a lot of these songs are contributed to uh, Adrian and Kyle, right? So how much of a of a full split is that, or is it just like, you know, one guy's writing it? Oh no, it's a full split. No, it's perfectly 50, 50? split. So I would say, split. yeah. Twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. You gotta do your math. No, no, I'm saying for the songs that you You've and Kyle 25. write. You and Kyle write. Wait, what? Me and Adrian. Yeah, I'm saying well, for the song, Adrian, me and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. Is it a fair what split between it? me and you? Yeah, when you guys write. Oh songs. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is what happens. So let's say I'll yeah, start take me something. It. Take me through it. And then I'll make the I'll make the majority of a song or whatever, right? Yeah. And then I'll bring it and I'll say, Hey, Kyle, how, do you like this or whatever? And then he'll give me his advice. And then either way, we just kind of agree on a 50-50 split. Even if one of us writes more, one of us writes the other one. We'll just, yeah. Mm -hmm. and Adrian, I'll tweak up like the songs can, and sometimes like we can tell you which mind. ones is mostly Kyle's. But that's hidden right now. That's <laughs> that a it, mystery. It's a mystery? <laughs> that's a mystery. So, What's your favorite song? What's my favorite song? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I gotta get that. What's the? Can you can you bring up the track list? What was? Give me the track list. Okay, we got uh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Cloudy Day. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Rocky, Rocky okay, Road. There you go. Yeah, yes, that's a good one. See, one of my favorite. <laughs> I love I love the test test test. That I love that. I love that part Justin, too. Yes. Justin that does was, not that like was, it. That was. That was that Just, was actually testing the mic, Justin and I'm does, like, let's use that. Wait, Justin, you don't like that one? Yeah. What? You don't like Rocky Road? I don't know. I'm not crazy. I'll tell you why. Yeah. I know why, I'm Justin. Justin has a very professional way of listening to things, which I 100% oh, yeah? agree with. Oh, wait, yeah. Explain that. Yeah. Explain that, Justin. He does. He does. Explain and he knows what, that what himself. Is he, what is he talking I've just, about? I've got, a, I've got a, very, a very complicated musical ear, so I can understand oh, more yeah? things. Um, I don't know. I, I think which Rocky, is good. I think Rocky Road's a little quirky. I, Which it is. Oh. I agree. Yeah. It's 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 cool too. It's cool too. I think I like it because of that. you know that's that's what makes it ju not just another song at the same time. You know the corny is different. It's different. It's funny, but it's true. It's a rocky road, guys. So terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> so Justin and Brandon, I asked you about the songwriting. Would you guys ever want to sing more? Uh definitely not a main singer. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Same. No. <laughs> maybe backups but nothing more than that yeah even backups is heavy for me maybe just the odd few words here and there maybe like yeah, uh, we... what's it called ad-libs yeah ad-libs yeah. is that what yeah. it's called I don't know <laughs> yeah we should definitely get them both to sing because they can right and, and guys that it worked well yeah. all four of us maybe they can yeah maybe I can do backups can. I... <laughs> if they want me to do main vocals maybe they I can hunt. Maybe you can. Maybe maybe I can. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I do get it. Guys. I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. <laughs> okay, so did you, by the way, did you write, guys, or was that all? Uh, that was on the spot, man. Sorry? All improv. All on the spot? We had everything? We had a very, a very um, kind of brief idea. We had to yeah. reference all the song titles, all the songs, or almost yeah. all the song yeah, titles. Yeah, I noticed that. I wasn't sure if that was intentional, or you guys were just... I don't... Oh, yeah, it was... Oh, oh, you noticed that? I did notice that. Of course I noticed that. Oh, okay. I didn't think that would be noticed. Because there was, okay, there was some uh, references yeah, that's to... so obvious. There were some references to the, uh, the last album, right? Like... Yes. Uh, um... Yes, there was. 
It was the uh, sun rises slow. Sun rises slow was referenced. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, do you re- did you know the chords underneath? Like, you, did you hear the chords that's happening underneath the whole time? What do you mean, like chords underneath the guys? There's there's a there's a chord progression happening, right? Of what? Of what? what is... Simple illusion. Well, because you guys started hey, guys? singing, it, right? Yeah, I did. I yeah. I yeah. That. So the whole time that chord progression Actually, was no, playing. No, I didn't cause... notice it until you started singing it. So I guess I didn't. exactly. Yeah. yeah, that was the point. Yeah. That was that was very interesting. So, uh... Very complex. It can never be replicated. <laughs> That's how complex it is. Adrian, on one of these songs, you talk about, uh, playing baseball as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> is this true? Were you actually playing baseball? Or, because I don't know, I wasn't Not sure. Not professionally. Before. On my street, I did. So you were playing baseball. I used to play baseball was it, on the street. Was it all alone, Adrian? Was it, yeah, was it all alone? I w- no, it wasn't all alone. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys see what do you guys so you don't know what this next album if there is a next album I don't know I don't know you guys don't know what it's no, we don't gonna know. sound like we don't know do you have any do you have any I- Only ideas of what it could be you guys talked about um, pro- maybe some prog rock maybe some more jazz yes yeah Yeah. listen I don't think Definitely. you'll know I don't think anyone will know yeah. until it happens I think you can't really conduct what it's gonna be That's in any true. genre. It's gonna be, you just have to start writing. You just have to make something. Who does more writing? I you? just think. Sorry, what was that called? Yeah, I just think every time we come out with something, it's it's almost similar, but on a grander scale. And I can expect if we do another one, it'll be the same. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. more yeah. layering, more more instrumentation. Who does all the producing? Every single time, it'll just. Who does the That's production? what I think. What? Who does the uh, production? Who do, who produces all the tracks? Production probably go to Adrian and Kyle, I'd say. Really? I mean, well, yeah. For like the like I the mean, um, in, in in the studio, Brandon was a big help a lot the, because of, yeah, for the engineering aspect, I for the engineering aspect, yeah, but. I'd say the pr- actual producing going, of like you're going for school. You're um, going to like, school for that, right? Yeah, I I go to school for audio engineering and and product and music production. Yeah. So how I much, I definitely that, uh, help with it. Yeah, I was just gonna ask how much does that play a part when you guys are uh, when we record? Yeah, and it helps important. a lot. Oh, it's, it's, it's very helpful. I mean, with the engineering, that's what that's what helps the the clarity, right? And was, also the knowledge important. on like on mics and and uh where the positioning of them are and all that stuff but for the music production part i'd say adrian and kyle uh probably take the cake on this one because yeah. they do a lot of the midi of like the arrangement of the horns um strings right, all that yeah, stuff yeah. um we do that together I, actually we, we put, yeah, yeah we we do that together and i i i helped a little bit of the production this time um with like also layering of like uh backup vocals like Helping them like they, I didn't I didn't sing but I just like kind of helped them whatever, um, but yeah I say most of it goes to probably Adrian and Kyle as well. How many takes? Yeah I I know what I I want like the songs to sound like you know but I don't really know how to do the producing aspect of it so I kind of just help out whoever's actually sitting at the computer you know telling them that the, which frequencies they need to cut things like that. How many takes does it usually take? Yeah. To get Sometimes it's so hard to make it sound like what you want it to sound. Even when you're like, if you want to pierce something, it's hard. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to make it nah. like what you hear in your head. Sometimes you can't. Well, and sometimes can't play it. In real isn't life. there? Don't you? Do you guys ever experience like uh, what's it called? Ear fatigue? Like you sometimes you listen to something. Oh yeah. Sl- oh my sl- sl- god. Sl- 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 <laughs> I can barely you- hear you right now. I'm half deaf. <laughs> you start to think it like sounds bad. It actually just sounds fine. You just listen to it like a billion times. Yeah. Oh yes. well, yeah. I can't. Especially, I can't especially in Adrian. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't do it anymore. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you just have to like. The next time I have to hear some Rocky Road, I'm gonna kill someone. At some point, you just have to like step oh. away from it. How many? Times oh yeah, no. Wish I don't trip or. Sorry, what? Drink? Adrian's told me if if it sounds bad, <laughs> listen with fresh ears. Yeah. Well, no, obviously, and you should wait like three, two, even like wait as long as you can, and then re-listen to it. Especially because like, you'll hear things you didn't hear before. 
Especially after like a day yeah. of recording, right? Oh what? yeah, and then of recording, you never want to listen to it back. Yeah, that's probably a good. Oh thing. no, 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 no. Yeah, no. I know, like even for like my own solo stuff, I. I listen to, I record it, and then I, I start mixing, like, a few hours or even the next day after because it you just, your yeah. ears are not working can I, properly. Can I ask you about that, by the way? Yeah, sure. So you got uh, this, um, you got this, uh, <laughs> oh, let me just start again. You got this, uh, new rap thing, right? What is it? Yarrow? How do you pronounce it? Yarrow, yeah. Yarrow. Team. Yarrow, yeah. Yeah, so, it does. What's what's going on with that? Are you working on stuff for that right now? Yeah, actually, I actually have a song coming out on the seventeenth. On the seventeenth. On Spotify. All right. Yeah, nice. September seventeenth on. On Spotify. September seventeenth. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, got one coming out close, with actually. my what? friend. Yeah, oh. next Thursday. Do you produce all, the, yeah, all of it? So my my friend he uh, he produced the beat on this one, but. Uh, I produce I produce some of my beats as well. So I you do, I write the lyrics. You do production as well. Yeah, and you so like on, on my first song, Ch- "Chase the Loot," I think it's called on SoundCloud. Yeah. I I produced the beat, mixed the beat, did the vocals, um, engine like engineered all of it, uh, mixed all of it, mastered all of it, produced have, like uh, I'm late for it out there. You have a project with Kyle, right? Too, right? Yeah, we have uh, we have oh, a thing What's that? My yeah. yes. What is it? Mindbusters. Mm-hmm. And what's going on? It's on named after Mindbuster at Wonderland. Oh, Line. I didn't know that. Yeah. No, it's not. Actually, <laughs> yeah. I'm not thinking. And what's, what's happening with that? Is Are we going to get some of that? So, Mine would be called Wild Beast. Ha, 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 ha. It's going to be like a hip-hop and kind of electronic. We've been working on some demos. Oh, so, so like uh, what there's... Was it? Paul McCartney and... Uh... What was that? You know what I'm talking about, Kyle. The yeah. The firefighter. Paul McCartney and you. Yeah. Yeah. We um yeah so there's there's gonna be some dubstep stuff, some hip hop, you know, anything some, uh, that involves EDM. beats, you know. <laughs> yeah. You guys work. Is it gonna be like a full album or just like a couple singles? We're trying to get um, an album, probably like a small yeah. album. Yeah. But uh, it would right be now, long, yeah. You know, we have we even have like an Avicii kind of sound uh, on a song that we're working. So it seems to. like everyone's yeah, got yeah. something mm-hmm. going on, but Justin, is there anything uh, we don't know about Justin? On my end, there's a lot we don't know about Justin. There's a lot about Justin. That nothing, you know. nothing you guys aren't aware about. Oh, Justin was planning on recording a an album in March break, right? March At the break. studio. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted Wait, to. you're you're recording an album? Oh, not wait for real. That's good. Breaking news, cash reviews. Breaking news. <laughs> well, obviously, nah. I mean <laughs> that didn't work out because of it's this COVID. world yeah, that we live in. I know. So who would yeah. you? Yep. Who would you guys say? Oh, Justin was going to join a, a a professional like band thing. Actually, remember well, you told yeah. me about that. I was uh, was gonna go to the under eighteen Humber program, uh, jazz program, but they. Um, they closed down because of COVID, oh. but they'll, they'll up. That's rough. That would have been good. Would have been fun for sure. It's second year university program. Wow. So yeah, you're with people, people in university, like university students you'd be playing with. Yeah. Like other drummers or like a whole second second year Humber musicians. Like uh... he got into it. He had to audition. And you got in. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, man. So who would you get? Who who out of all of you would uh, you guys say is the most like uh, proficient at their instrument? <laughs> you know, like who's the George of you guys? The George. Oh, no, you can't. Kyle. No, that's that's a stupid. Yeah, that's, Kyle. Is it. I say Kyle because yeah. this guy plays everything. You think you have an instrument, he's just playing it all of a sudden. No, I mean, I've yeah. seen that first. Oh, Kyle's good. Wow, I can't believe you all. Yeah. Kyle has. Wow. Kyle has a really, like, he knows a lot of, like, theory, too, so, like, yeah. that's why, that's why he's... Wow, I was yeah, not expecting uh, I've that, been, that consensus answer. I I've been learning theory for, like, near, nearly four years now. I probably know the best theory, besides percussion theory, I <laughs> I probably know the most, I would say. Well, I yeah, mean, yeah, I've been learning it. that same theory you have. And well, in terms of percussion theory, I play the tambourine pretty well. Yeah, I've seen Adrian Killen on the tambourine. 
what's it like uh what's it like <laughs> performing you know how does that feel what's it like performing what's it like it's like know? it's like it's like taking a billion <laughs> drugs at once you just forget it once you get off the stage oh wow it's I, I fucking love it i love it you love it i wouldn't oh, yeah. be able to compare what do you, to that. What do you love about I, it I zero stage right oh really what about yeah, you guys I, I could, any of the other guys i could be in front of ten thousand people i don't care oh i'm i'm scared i got so like i'm nervous yeah, I can tell you. I can tell uh, you get a little. Well, I mean, you're you're out. up front. You're singing too. It's difficult. Oh yeah, when you have I to sing. Yeah. I mean, I can That's play. I can play. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You can play bass, guitar. It doesn't matter. You're probably not going to mess up on your instrument, but singing, there's a good chance that you will at least once. Yeah. At least and once. And the problem is, it's out there. Like your voice is what everyone wants to hear. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So if you're but, garbage, you're garbage, and that's just the way it is. Like I'm not the best singer, I know that for sure. So. Are you guys gonna do more live performances? Like I know you could, I know you guys couldn't do Canada or what was it? Yeah, Canada Day this year. Are you guys planning on doing anything else? Buddy, everything's hey. closed. We can't talk. Uh, I obviously not until now, things open even. up. Like, are you gonna? No, I I, would, I don't know. I personally, know, yeah. Like, what it's gonna be like? I don't that's know. true. That's fair enough. Yeah, I, I want to play more, obviously, once things get better. Um, I think that's For the only sure, way the yeah. band really get more more eyes, more ears on us. Yeah. Is just by playing live yeah. and going to different either bars, pubs, more open exposure. events, festivals. Exposure. Yeah, just, mm. just exposure. Even like like playing for free, like just yeah. getting exposure is more important. Every show we've played was for free. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. But like, even like Kyle, if, no one needs to know that. And I'm I'm more than I'm more than fine. With yeah, that. no, no, no. no you guys, get, you get, guys, the price is high for uh, anyone watching. The price is high for Relic Sun's uh, appearance. Like, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. right now, yeah. Lucas owes us a lot of money, guys. <laughs> Bro, this is not free. You gotta keep this. I'm just saying, I got, I got, I got places to be. I got things to do. This is not We're, free. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's twenty minutes, twenty dollars per minute. You gotta keep this video short. <laughs> Yeah. What have you guys been doing to stay busy during quarantine? Recording and writing for me. And school. Yeah, Working, I would say the same. Playing music, recording, thinking about life. Thinking about so, life. Adrian over here is an essential worker, so oh, he's working yeah. through the entire thing. <laughs> but I've been working 40 hours a week since March. Really? So, very impressive. 40 hours? Yeah, wow. yeah, full yeah. time, buddy. How long have you been? And now I got a Taylor. A sorry. A Taylor, no, a a Taylor, Taylor guitar. guitar. Oh. I yeah. thought you meant like you're getting your tailored suits. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> 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 I would. I only get. I only fit in a Taylor suit because Adrian, I have a play some, size, play some you know? guitar for us, Adrian. Show us, show the people what you got. Play some guitar. Play something. You were just playing. I forgot how to play guitar. All right, guys, you heard it okay. here first. Relic Sons are, uh, lost their guitarist. Forgot how to play. Lost My Soul, what? Oh, yeah, when's Lost My Soul 2 coming out? <laughs> <laughs> lost My Soul 2 doesn't exist. Oh, no. I think Francesco would like to know when that's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling right, you, this play. thing, let me tell you. Let me tell you about Play something this. short. We've been going. Okay, we're gonna play Guess the Song. Are you ready? Guess the song of the album. This oh, is, okay. This is not going in the video. I'm telling you right now. I'm okay? not good with names. Fuck. Okay. This is going in the video. Okay, okay. This is the most entertaining part. Right. Ready? Yeah. Oh, it's the one. It's the one song. That's it. That's all you get. Wait, I have to. I don't know. Uh, wait. Okay, hold well, on. Well, you're the host. On, you should have on. listened to the album very good. No, I did. I did. I just... Wait, do you guys actually not know? I know it. I know it. Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh my! Like, I know it. I know it's ours and stuff, but I, I'm so bad with like matching up names and with. Is it different? <laughs> Is it different or not? There's a chance. Oh, there's a chance. 
Okay. There's a chance. chance we'll get the next one right here. We well, go. What was all of your favorite, the next What one. was the favorite song? What was your favorite song? Like all your favorite songs. Mine. Just like to record. I don't mind. Favorite song to uh, you know just like you know. I'm right, a huge. I like. I don't know, but I kind of like Sun on a Cloudy Day. Not gonna Sun lie. Sun on a Cloudy. I, I. 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 Even though I'm not singing it, I really like it. Okay. Sun on a Cloudy Day is good. What about the rest? Of my, you? my favorite uh, song to record. Oh, um, was definitely maybe I can. That was that was such a that was such a blast. Very fun. Um, and probably my favorite one to listen to was probably Nostalgia or Rocky Road. Mm. Oh yeah. What about you, Kyle? Uh, I know recording you... "Sun on a Cloudy Day" was very fun because there's so many vocal overdubs. It's probably the most vocal overdubs on any song on the album. Just me and Adrian going oh. back and forth on the mic, so that's really cool. The guitar and the piano, that one was really fun to record. But to listen to, I think is nostalgia because they, it's very tight. The instrumentation sounds good. Oh yeah. It is really tight. What about you, Justin? Nostalgia and maybe I can all the way. Both fun to record. Both my favorites to listen to. I like maybe I can, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Maybe I can I is a good know. workout song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get you pumped. <laughs> Dude, uh, yeah, maybe I can. I, I have to give it to you guys. That was probably the best choice for the intro, I thought. Like, I, yeah. that really oh, that was the whole point of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see how long we've been going for. Wanna hear? Half an hour. I'm dreaming of standing on stage. No. <laughs> maybe I can. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Justin, I see you're playing the drums here. How long have you been playing the drums? Me? Yeah. Uh, five, six years. How long has everyone been playing their their instruments? Shit, I don't even know. I've been playing since I was so 12. So I'm pretty so old. 12? Yeah. Adrian, what about you? Oh, you? Six years, yeah. To tell you the truth, yeah. Pretty so, great. Want to hear mine? Let me tell you. Okay, yeah. so. <laughs> you know, I grew up in a small town called Maple. <laughs> So this, I guess this um, is the silly part. We've reached the silly part of the industry. Justin won't believe it, but when I was in grade one, I bought my drum set that I still have now. My dad bought them for me for 100 bucks. So I'm actually more experienced than Justin, just not as good as Justin. But yeah, I wouldn't even say more there experience. you go. <laughs> I've played a whole Buddy, I've been hitting friggin' time. snare drums my whole life. Okay? And then in grade okay. four, I picked up piano. And then in grade seven, I picked up guitar. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I like guitar. And now I'm picking up piano again. I think I love piano. I don't know. You, I, like I always see you playing a piano, like, you know, somewhere. I'll okay, show you guys right. sneak peek of something. What is it? After. Kyle. I, I, I have a fun fact. I started playing violin when I was like 10. And then I went to guitar. Oh wow! There you go, Kyle. What about you? How long you? I'm telling you, everything helps. All right, let's uh, let's wrap it up. Yeah. All right, so that was the Relic Suns, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let's go do check more out... of this. Yeah, maybe, maybe we will go check out their newest album, Broken Reflections. I enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed. Here, it. Here, hold on, hold on. Check out the new album, single ladies coming and out gentlemen, 17. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Yaro too nice. Single coming out. 17. Yes. Guys, check that out. Adrian, is your is your single coming out soon? It is. It's supposed to be mid-September, but I might have to delay it because I'm still working on a couple of things. Right. Anyway, I wanted to do a, like a professional stage ending. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for our drummer, Mr. Justin Pascucci. Our guitarist, Mr. Brian Bailey. And our bass player, the one and only Kyle Davis, and myself, Adrian Irulo. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. All Lucas, right. finish it up. Go like, subscribe, comment. Have a good one. See you guys. Thank you. Subscribe to Cashy Reviews. Subscribe. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Have a good one.